Gaza City's main hospital is without power and struggling to keep patients alive as strikes and gunfire between Israeli troops and Hamas rages nearby. Doctors reached by telephone are describing scenes of panic and fear. It's continuous bombardment for more than uh, like 24 hours now. Nothing stopped, you know, it's all from the tanks, from the sea, from the airstrikes. So it's totally war zone. It's totally scary atmosphere here in the hospital. Most of the patients and civilians taking shelter at Al Shifa Hospital have now left. Those who remain say they are trapped under fire. Our colleagues there, they barely communicate with the other with the outside community. They are feeling that, that like they are facing death without any help and support. The Gaza Health Ministry, an agency of the Hamas-controlled government, says the hospital complex is under complete siege from all sides, preventing the evacuation of the injured. An Israeli military official denied allegations of a siege or shooting at the hospital, adding the army can coordinate with anyone who wants to leave. But an escalation of fighting around Al Shifa Hospital and others in Gaza continue to imperil a health care system already on the brink of collapse. Generators have all but run out of fuel, forcing surgeons to operate by flashlight. The situation in the hospitals is absolutely desperate. The World Health Organization says nearly half of Gaza's health care facilities are not functioning, while the rest are operating way below their capacity. We've heard that Al Shifa Hospital has sustained five attacks over the last 24 to 36 hours. We want to see a uh, halt on attacks on health care. Uh, we've had over 120 attacks on health care in Gaza alone. These must stop. The aid group Doctors Without Borders says up to 40 premature babies' lives are at risk at Al Shifa Hospital, and it reported deaths due to the power outages. A spokesperson for the Israeli military said that on Sunday, the Army will help evacuate babies who are trapped at the hospital. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.